Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. For dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer and having taco salad. So let me show you what I used. In my freezer, I had this um, seasoned pork and never had it before, but I went to Tom Thumb a while back ago, saw this on sale and stuck it in our freezer. And so you just pan fry it and it's not bad. I like it, Howard just thinks it's okay. And then also had these Azteca crispy taco shells in my freezer as well. I've talked about these before on our What's For Dinner video. Love these things, been eating them since I was a kid. My mom used to make them. And uh, you just bake them in the oven and they come out nice and crispy, just like you deep fried them. So this is my plate. I've got lettuce in there, cheese, the pork, um, salsa, and then I had some leftover refried beans from a fast food meal. So um, those are in there as well. And then this is Howard's plate. He has the refried beans on top and then he has sour cream in there as well. And he's gonna add some avocados once he sits down. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am using up these noodles that I had in my fridge. When I bought these, I bought them by mistake. I meant to buy another brand and I got these. So I don't actually like the seasoning packages that come with these noodles. So I'm just gonna use the noodles and then I'm gonna stir fry them with some fresh broccoli that I have, green onions, I'm not using all of those green onions, and then some uh, coleslaw or cabbage. For the sauce, I am going to use this. I've had it in my pantry for a little while. I got it from Tuesday morning, and it's, as you can see, a noodle sauce. Never tried it before, but trying it out today. So I am just going to, and no meat, we're doing vegetarian. So I am just gonna start off by stir frying the vegetables and then adding in the chow mein noodles. Okay, so here is our dinner, quick and easy to make. I literally just stir fried it in some olive oil, added some garlic salt, and of course that noodle sauce. The noodle sauce is sweeter than I expected it to be. Next time, I think what I'll do is add a little bit of heat um, to it to balance out some of that sweetness. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making Salisbury steak. I've already done some of the prep work. I had one pound of lean ground beef and I mixed it with breadcrumbs and egg and seasoning. I used garlic powder, onion powder, and garlic powder, onion powder, and onion salt as well. So I am just browning my Salisbury steak in the skillet. I'm gonna light, lightly brown it on each side. And I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. That's my child. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. Um, I'm not following it exactly, but at least it'll give you a base to start with. Okay, so I just removed my hamburger patties from the skillet, and it says to add your fresh mushrooms and onions. I um, do not have any fresh onions. I have frozen onions. So that is what I am going to be using. So now it says to add in butter and garlic once your veggies cook down. And then you're supposed to let this saute for about a minute and then add in your flour and broth and then your ground beef patties. So my gravy mixture has come to a boil and now I'm just adding back in my beef patties. I am going to cover the pan and then just let these cook. So here is the Salisbury steak. I did end up having to make a cornstarch slurry because I didn't feel like the gravy was quite thick enough um, for me. And then those white flakes that you see throughout, that is garlic. I think I went a little bit overboard on the garlic. I was at the end of a jar of garlic and I didn't wanna put it back in the fridge, so I just added the rest of it in there. I think that was a little bit too much. Um, 
With it, I am serving mashed potatoes and green beans, and I also made these yeast rolls. It is humongous. I got these from Kroger on one of my recent Kroger hauls, tried it out for the first time, and it said for, um, if you wanted to make them in muffin tins, to use two yeast rolls, and two is, is humongous so you could really get away with using just one i did let them rise and um, they're huge they're good they're not very sweet i do like a sweet yeast roll uh, these are not as sweet as i had hoped they would be but anyway this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time so for dinner tonight, I am using some shrimp that I had in my freezer. This is from Kroger, and it is extra large Argentinian red shrimp. So I've got it in my bowl here. It's already thawed out. I cleaned it up. And um, this is the seasoning mix that I'm gonna use. Never tried it before. I picked this up from Walmart a while ago, and it's been in my pantry. I think I mentioned to you all that I have a bunch of these types of mixes and things that I really need to use. So let me flip it over on the back and you can see what goes into it. Onion, Worcestershire sauce, that's a hard one for me to say, um, and then butter. So I'm using, here's my onions right here. Instead of just using regular butter, I had this in my freezer, um, shallot and herb butter, so I'm gonna be using this with it. So I think that'll be pretty good, and I plan on serving this over some rice. It also calls for lemon. Howard is not a huge lemon fan, and I made lemon chicken the other week, and he ate it, but you know that was a, that was a big one for him. He's not big into lemon, so I'm gonna leave the lemon out. So let's get started. So here it is, Howard and I tasted it and we both like it. It is spicy, it definitely has a kick to it. If you're serving this to children or if you're someone who um, is not big on spice, this is not the um, mix for you. But it does look like the picture. You see that side by side? And on the back of the package, it says that you can use chicken or anything else that you want with this. So, but anyway, really good flavor. I would definitely buy it again. And I was gonna serve a side salad, but I really don't feel like eating a salad. So we're gonna eat this, and then I have some leftover yeast rolls from the other day. So I'll probably, I may eat a piece of bread, I'm not sure. So anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. So today I am making chicken riceroni casserole. This is a casserole that I have made before and I really like it and I don't know why I don't make it more often. But in my skillet here, I have one, um, one box of prepared chicken riceroni. And to that, I just added in about two cups of cooked chicken. And this is riceroni if you're not familiar with it. Harrison is having dinner, so you may hear him occasionally. But I added in my chicken. Now I'm going to add in my cream of chicken soup. This is so easy. And I'll make sure, of course, to link the recipe in the description box. So I've got my cream of chicken in there. And now I am adding in a cup of sour cream. And I am just going to stir all of this up until it is combined. Okay, so I've got everything all mixed up. I have an 11 by seven casserole dish. The recipe actually called by for a nine by 13, but I always use this when I make the rice -aroni. Don't worry, the burner is cold. I made the rice uh, you know, a while ago, so it's cold. And I'm just going to pour in the mixture. And then I'm gonna top it with some French fried onions. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this in the oven for about half an hour. The recipe actually calls for you to use an entire container, which is six ounces, an entire container of French onions. Um, but I thought that was kind of too much. So that's why I'm using probably like a third of the box and uh, pop it in the oven. 
So here is the casserole. It is just as delicious as I remember it. I did bake it for 30 minutes. Serving it with, um, we're gonna have a salad. So I am going to use this salad dressing and Howard is going to finish up. I know it's upside down because we're trying to get it to drain, but it's um, Ken's Creamy Caesar Dressing. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time.